it's Shara from Woodshop Diaries and I'm going to show you how I made this really cool light up Christmas art piece from some scrap plywood and a couple of battery powered light sets. Pretty cool right? Let's get to the build. This project and video is sponsored by my friends at Craig Tool and Build Something. A couple years ago, I saw a kind of wall art Christmas light up village thing at a store and thought that it would be cool to make something similar. It had a ton of little intricate cutout details, but I'm way too impatient for that. So for this particular project, I stuck with a more simple design with just a couple of trees. But if you're into scroll sawing or intricate details, feel free to explore the possibilities. I'll be over here with my trees. I'm sharing the free plans and a template for my trees over on buildsomething.com and I have a direct link in the description below if you'd like to build your own. To get started, I dug around in my scrap wood cart for a few pieces of 3 quarter inch plywood about the size that I wanted my piece to be. I ended up finding a piece about 16 and a half inches wide and 14 inches tall that I used for the backdrop piece and then two more pieces similar in size for the two tree cutout pieces at the front. I originally painted the backdrop piece black, but I changed my mind later, you'll see shortly, and while the paint dried on that, I grabbed one of the other two pieces of scrap plywood and started freehand drawing a tree design that I liked. This is where you could get super creative, but I just stuck with whatever would be easy to cut out with my jigsaw. I made the middle tree cut out larger than the front cutout piece, and I made sure that it was the same width, 16 and a half inches, as my backdrop. I traced my cutout onto a piece of paper and provided a template for it in the build plans linked below. But obviously you can customize this part a thousand different ways. Once I had a design that I was happy with, I carefully cut it out with a jigsaw. I found that it was easiest to first do a rough cut of the entire shape, then come back and cut out all the little details. After it was cut, the edges were pretty rough. So I hand sanded with some medium grit sandpaper to get the edges smoother and to sand off any splintered pieces. Then I grabbed the last piece of scrap plywood and laid out this piece face down onto it. I traced along where the snow bank was between my trees and made a mark about the height that I wanted my front tree to be as well. Then I removed that piece and drew a tree about that tall and made my front snow bank a little lower than the one that I had marked so that it, would, it wouldn't hide the one behind it when it's all put together. Just like with the first one, I cut this out with a jigsaw and sanded the edges. Now I had all of my pieces cut out, but I needed a frame. So I cut to fit 1x4 boards around the backdrop piece to create a frame kind of like a shadow box. I drilled 3 quarter inch pocket holes using my Craig pocket hole jig into these pieces to attach them together and then also drilled pocket holes along the back side of the tree cutouts. I assembled the bottom and sides of the frame using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws, then screwed in the front tree cutout so that it was flush with the front of the frame. I added the bigger cutout behind it, leaving about a half inch space between it and the front tree. Then I attached the top part of the frame as well using pocket hole screws. Now it was time to add the back. I was using battery powered lights for this, so I needed a place to store the battery packs. So I found a place in the back where they wouldn't be seen behind the big tree and marked it on the backdrop piece of the project. I cut it out using my jigsaw, then drilled three quarter inch pocket holes along the top and the bottom edges to attach it into the back of the frame. Before installing the back, I placed some lights between the trees and behind the trees and stuck the back in place to see how it looked. I wasn't a fan of these yellow colored lights or the back black drop 
or the wood colored trees. So I ended up just taking the whole thing apart and decided to change some things up. So I painted the trees white so they stood out a little bit more and then I decided to paint the back with a navy ombre effect. Then I went back to the shop and put it all back together. This time I added some white lights instead of the warm lights and I like this much better. I placed several between the trees and used some painter's tape to tape the lights in place on the back side so the cords would stay hidden below the snowbanks and behind the trees. Much better. Once I was happy with the light placement, I screwed the back in place with one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. I used one battery pack to light up the scenery and another to serve as stars in the sky. So I found a drill bit just slightly larger than the lights and I put it in my drill. I drilled stars all through the backdrop with this bit and installed the stars in place on the back side. Once they were all in place, I made sure the battery pack would reach the hole that I had cut in the back and then I used some painter's tape to secure the wires onto the back side so the stars would stay in place. If you wanted, you could also staple these wires in place instead of taping. Um, that probably would look a little bit more professional, but I was kind of in a hurry. If you wanted to hang this on your wall, you can use one of those sawtooth hangers on the back side so that you can easily remove it from the wall, flip the switches, and then hang it back in place. But I kind of like mine sitting on a console table, and I can just turn it around, flip the switches, and stick the packs back into the little cubby and enjoy the lights. This project is super simple in design and concept, but you can make it as detailed as you want. I really like the simple though, plus since it's not too Christmassy themed with just the trees, I can keep it around all winter and not feel weird about it. So I hope you've enjoyed this project and if you'd like more info, be sure to check out the free plans and the template that I've linked below. And if you'd like to see more do-it-yourself projects, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on what's coming next. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, happy building and happy Christmas.